The equipment, including spray booth, air quality, blow drying equipment, spray guns, and cleaning equipment, plays an important role in meeting the VOC and quality requirements. The spray booth must operate at a slight overpressure of approximately 3 mm water column to keep dust out and to provide an indication of the status of the paint stop filters. Spraying and baking temperatures should be adjustable. The minimum air movement requirement is 20,000 cubic meters per hour at a speed of 20 centimeters per second. The control of the volume, pressure and cleanliness of the air entering the spray gun is critical to the success of the application. Compressed air should be free of oil, grease and moisture. A freeze dryer reduces the risk of moisture in the spraying air. A compressed air filtering installation with an oil, grease and moisture filter and an active carbon filter is also desirable. An air hose is used to transfer compressed air from the air regulator to the spray gun. The minimum diameter is 8 millimeters, 3 tenths of an inch. Use of the correct air hose prevents pressure fluctuations, reducing the quality of the end result. Blow drying equipment is a must. It ensures that the base coat has dried thoroughly before it is finished with high solid clear. This also increases spray booth throughput. Using the blow dryers in combination with a higher spray booth temperature of 30 to 35 degrees centigrade will dry the base coat more quickly. When choosing a spray gun, a sprayer will be looking for fast application, good atomization and finish quality. The European legislation requires you to use spray guns that have a transfer efficiency of 65% or more. HVLP, high volume, low pressure or high efficiency guns are recommended. These are needed for both the priming materials and the top coat. Use the pressure gauge under your spray gun to set the spray pressure accurately. This ensures good results and increases efficiency. The spray guns used for the application of the Waterbase Series 900 must be reserved for this product. They should not be used to apply any other products. It's essential that guns are kept clean and in good working order. Spray equipment for water-based and solvent-based products should be cleaned separately. Water-based paint residue must be disposed of separately from solvent-based and vice versa. The water-based spray gun can be cleaned by filling the gun with tap water and shaking it vigorously to ensure that the water dissolves the remaining paint. Also, use a brush to clean the gun thoroughly. This process needs to be repeated by using water-based gun cleaner 9-852. The procedure to clean your gun when finished spraying solvent-based products is nearly the same. Firstly, dispose of the residue paint in a specified solvent waste container. Then, Connect the gun to your gun cleaning equipment and wash thoroughly.